before I start, um, I just have to say thank you for being here. I spent the last 10, 15 minutes backstage talking to all the teen leaders back there. And it gives me so much hope in such face of darkness. So you guys being here is actually changing the world. I actually believe that. I, I do things like this a lot. Thank you so much. So I want to talk about who you want to be and how you want to get there. No, I didn't say what. I don't care what you do to earn money. And at this point in your life, neither should you. I do care about who you want to be. Now, people ask me all the time, how did you become such a great soccer player? What steps did you take? What breakfast did you eat? And of course, I can give you all those little details. But it doesn't matter, because the way that I proce process through my life, the way that I worked, the person that I was with the talent of being a soccer player actually mattered more to my success than my skill. So I'm going to talk about three things. Courage, kindness, and wisdom. What is courage? Is courage fearlessness? Do you guys think courage is fearlessness? No. no. Quick story. I don't know if you guys remember, but the 2011 World Cup, I scored this goal. It's like last minute, last second goal against Brazil. <laughs> nice humble brag, right? Um, but that, that goal actually didn't finish the game. We had to go into penalty kicks after that goal. And during all of our games and practices, our national team wear heart rate monitors, OK? So it was my turn to shoot the penalty kick. And our strength and conditioning coach, she goes around the world showing this information and data uh, to prove how cool she is. And what my heart rate showed was I was standing in place in front of this penalty shot, and my heart rate went to its 90th percent. Now, in the physical fitness world, that's nearing like pass out. Like, that's like at my peak heart rate. But I was just standing there. So, for me, courage has nothing to do with fearlessness. Everybody always is, how are you so fearless? I'm like, I'm not. I'm full of fear. But I just have the courage to go anyway. I think that every, t every day, yes, you can clap. <laughs> courage is unique, and every person can, can express their courage in different ways. I did it on the soccer field. I do it every single day, parenting my children. That is scary. It takes a lot of courage to do that every single day, not knowing what the heck I'm doing. All parents out there know what I'm talking about. Courage is also doing something that especially you guys, the teens in this room, that you might not feel like you have complete control or uh, solid ground underneath your feet. Courage is standing up for somebody when you might be yelled at or you might have something taken away from you. Like Emma Gonzalez the other day. Standing up, speaking truth to power. That's courage. If you guys don't know Emma Gonzalez, Google it. Not right now, but later. <laughs> Kindness. It's the second thing I want to talk about. 
You guys, I have a simple philosophy in life, and it's just a no a-hole policy, okay? <laughs> Kindness is so undervalued. Why is it so hard for us to find any gratitude? Why is it so hard for us now to say thank you? I appreciate you. When so much negativity is happening around us, so much negativity is happening on social, social media, kindness is such an undervalued trait right now. Thank your parents for making you food that may taste good. Thank your friends for being across from you and listening to you while you talk about the fears of your life. And then surround yourself with people that are not a-holes. And let me tell you this, you know them. You guys know what feels right. My wife and I, we talk a lot about warm and cold when we have to make certain decisions. So we go into our bodies and we're like, does this feel warm? Does this feel like I want to take a step forward? Or does it feel cold, like I, I kind of want to crawl up into a ball and run away? People do that. The energy people give off, the energy people give you, you get to decide who you put in your sphere. Who you put around you will determine whether or not you have joy, success, good friendships, and happiness. Third element is wisdom. You guys, I would say courage is kind of like that quick thing that you can like have immediately. Kindness is a way of being. And then wisdom is like the long game. Being wise about the decisions that you make today that you can understand in your head and in your heart that it will affect your life in five, 10, 15 years. If somebody's trying to sell you a fast track to success, be cautious. Walk up to people with curiosity instead of judgment. Wisdom has everything to do with who you want to become. And the way to become the person that you're meant to be is by making the decisions day in and day out. Feels a little bit boring, but those wise people have the best, happiest, most joyful lives because they make those hard decisions day in and day out. You guys, I've had a unique opportunity to represent my country and I'm fiercely proud of it. I've won Olympic gold medals, I've won a World Cup championship, and I'm telling you, the best work of my life is to be able to get up and stand up in front of teens, in front of kids, and hopefully give them a little bit of insight in what could make them happy, what could make them successful in their lives. I am sorry about where we are right now in our lives, in our world. I'm sorry that you guys are inheriting the world that we have. I'm sorry I haven't done more to protect you and to make you guys feel safe. But I need your help. Will you guys help me make this world better.
Will you guys go into your today with a little bit more courage, with a little bit more kindness, with a little bit more wisdom? Because I actually feel like in this room, things can change. They're small, they're effective, they're measurable, but you guys can do it. You guys are the answer to changing our future. I promise you. I promise you. I'll leave you with this. I got married in May and became the mother of three amazing children. My wife is here and my 12-year-old daughter Tish is here. And the fact that a lesbian woman can stand on this stage in front of you guys makes me feel so proud and so confident in the future, in the state of wherever you guys want to take us. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. <laughs>